my dear ones, this is a timeless near personal love and spirituality reading for whomever is guided to watch it with me, Queen of Cups Tarot, on the topic, what is blocking you from meeting a new romantic partner? This reading in particular is sponsored by Maria Posa. If you also want to support my channel, like Maria Posa, you can follow the donation link in the description box of this video. Take note that the reading can be in the reverse for some of you and if you need more information or help after you have listened to this reading, you can turn to the love readings for the season that is up or you can check out the pick a card and your personal readings on the first page of my channel. Click the headline of each playlist to see all the videos that the playlist contains. Uh, this reading uh, didn't only come to life by the sponsorship but also uh, by a client asking really good questions for her reading and uh, I wanted to ask these same questions for the collective to help you see what is blocking you and holding you back from meeting a new romantic partner. And I will start shuffling your cards and I use the Psychic Tarot of the Heart for this reading. So when I open your deck here, I see feeling alone together with the death card. Uh, so in this situation, it seems like you have been uh, abandoned by someone. Maybe you have abandonment issues overall and uh, you have to uh, let go of this abandonment that happened to you um, to be stop being attached uh, to that this person abandoned you or that this uh, thing even happened. It's like you have a lot of questions. Why, why, why did this happen to me? Uh, so you're feeling all alone, but here is the death card and it shows that you can release all these feelings. Uh, today is a new day. You don't have to live in your past. Uh, you don't have to live with this sadness. You don't have to live with this feeling that other people uh, are confirming uh, either you are worthy of a relationship and love or not they are it's not them that tells you that you are worthy or always worthy of love okay so you don't have like a certain value that can be um, approved or disapproved you're always valuable if you can be yourself and be your true soul self you will meet also your true uh, soul partner but it's very crucial that you don't try to uh, be someone else than who you are because then this other person won't be able to recognize you so i call the divine with love and light and here we have uh, the teach card it's the high priest card together with the feeling alone card uh, so um, this is something deeper this rejection that you have been through or your particular attachment style we have different attachment style in love we can have uh, for example uh, it can be easy for us to be abandoned feeling abandoned or it can be easy for us to feel overwhelmed and it has to do how we learned love from our parents once and here with this teach card a five five coming I'm thinking you have learned a lot from the relationship that you have been in, even the ones where people have abandoned you. It has been great education uh, for you to be in these relationships and, and to learn these things. It was valuable for your soul. So I called the four archangels in the four corners of the world. And we have the eight of coins together with the five of coins. So it's about you need to actually continue working on relationships. Even if they are hard, you still need to put yourself uh, out there and dedicate yourself to work through, for example, abandonment issues or issues of not feeling worthy of, or issues of not wanting to stay in a relationship because you think that you will be abandoned somewhere down the road uh, or the feeling of being overwhelmed. Uh, so maybe some of you have problems with yourself, the partnership is great, but suddenly you feel like it's not fitting anymore or the person is chewing too loud or having the wrong car or whatever, like your subconscious is making excuses for you so you can run away. But here it's about staying, maybe not in that particular relationship, 
but staying with the issue and working it through with dedication and trying to figure out to teach yourself what it's needed for you to solve your particular problems. Uh, so it's about doing the same thing over and over again, changing small, small variables. Uh, so uh, the last time I tried to make the person stay with me and uh, not uh, go away. And, and this time maybe I'm to let them go and work through the pain that that is giving instead and see how that goes. So it's changing small variables or big variables <laughs> to, to see what is working and what is not working. So it's about you working your relationships to perfection. Uh, so I've forgotten where I were, but I say I call the six elements. <laughs> so I hope I'm not repeating myself. And we have success and growth. So this will lead to another eight. Eight is connected to the strength card. Uh, these relationships seems to be your spiritual sadhana. And, and um, um, even if they are hard, they are troublesome, they drain you of your energy, uh, they will make you more grown up and more spiritually awakened. Uh, with this success and growth card. So you're learning new things every time you become abandoned, <laughs> okay? So it's actually like playing car accident over and over again. So when a child does that, it's to uh, digest what they have been through. And if you are putting yourself in situations uh, where you risk being abandoned and you become abandoned, you have played car accident uh, because your original trauma probably was being abandoned. And then... You put yourself through it again and again and again. And eventually you will be like, oh, okay, so that person disappeared or ghosted me. So what? Because uh, you will now have found more strength in being you and loving yourself. And you don't put uh, your value into what other people think of you or if they love you or not. And you start to also become a little bit... Uh, <laughs> you have seen the same thing over and over again. Eventually, it's no surprise. So you will be just like, bye-bye. Um, and that is when you have, you know, make a full lap. And you don't have to go in this eternity eight anymore to figure things out. You can actually... Um, you have actually made this complete uh, knowledge now. So you know, okay, so this is how it feels to be abandoned. And this is how you get over it. Okay, so now you have complete knowledge in that area. And you can move on and learn about something new that has not, nothing to do with being abandoned. It might have to do with your taste. So suddenly it's about what you like and don't like. And you will have to maybe start to sort through the people that you're hanging out with and see I'm just hanging out with this person because I don't want to be alone so that can't roll with me anymore I need to say bye bye to this person so suddenly you become the one abandoning other people because you're you're learning something new now you're learning to to what is fulfilling my own needs instead of just seeing if the person will stay or not you're now have come like a step further where you can see do I want to stay <laughs> okay so this is great. Okay, so I'll tune in for a few seconds uh, to you and uh, this situation with what is the block holding you back from meeting a new romantic partner? So you will hear the question backwards. Uh, and the last question is the evolution of your love life. When is this true companion stepping into your life or what do you need to do to find them? So there it is. And uh, this is, is there a match out there for you offering a genu genuine equal romantic love relationship? And who is this? And it's there. And this is what is, what is the block holding you back from meeting a new romantic partner. And we have Blossom here, which is the judgment. So it's about you getting better judgment due to you. Here's the eight, you know, growing up, you have been through so much that you become uh, seasoned <laughs> in a way that I've also given you a lot of uh, um, like wisdom. You'll be able to make judgment and see situations from about, about perspective. And you know better now what it is that you want to create. Uh, so this is this is great. I didn't mean to uh, to rhyme. Sometimes I have a special guide with me, and that person makes me rhyme. They are speaking in rhyme. Um, so what I'm seeing here is very high spiritual uh, frequency energy. 
Um, and this is what you need to align with your own high spiritual f frequency energy. It's very, uh, you have uh, kind of downplayed yourself and made yourself small and insignificant when really you are not. Uh, you're very significant. And what you think and feel and want matters. So when you stop uh, putting um, your own value into what other people think of you and start to think what you value and don't value, then you're onto something because then you become more yourself instead of asking, can I please have, uh, can I please exist? You're now taking for granted that you're allowed to exist and you're figuring out how, who am I, uh, me, that is existing. So that is two very different views. One is your old view where you ask for permission. Now you're more, you know, trying to find out who am I? Why am I here? What is my true natural expression? What do I want? What don't I want? <laughs> and this is, is there a match out there for you offering a genuine, equal, romantic love relationship? And who is this? And we have the base chakra together with the touch and another arc here that is confront. So this is justice and the moon card and awaiting results. So it seems like you're going to something where you're uh, mainly uh, building on your own foundation. So it might mean that you actually need to be in solitude for a while to figure out who you are and separate yourself uh, from other people and become uh, more yourself. So you eventually can um, re-engage again in relationships but uh, where there's more uh, it's more likely that you won't start to compromise yourself because you have stabilized your own foundation so much that there's no one being able to change you you have become more stubborn this is why i am uh, this is what i stand for this is my values and morals and it comes from me from my soul not from my upbringing or conditioning uh, so this is about letting go of a lot of fears and um, also, you know, looking at what has made you so fearful. So if you're scared of something, go straight there and do that thing until you're not scared anymore. So if you're scared of uh, abandonment, put yourself in situations uh, where there's, you might be abandoned or you might not, but it's a higher risk because you have put yourself out there and, and then face this. Uh, this fear whenever it comes up sometimes it's just the fear coming up and the fear itself can create what we are scared of so if we are fearful we'll be abandoned we will take for granted that the person will abandon us and we'll read into what the person says and does as uh, this person is going to abandon me because they said this or they did that and and we are going to respond to that person as they are going to abandon me and we'll say you will be abandon me anyway you will leave anyway I can't trust you so that's going to build an awful relationship <laughs> and it's going to fall as a house of cards and what will be left is your own foundation which you need to build on and face your own fears and this will take some time uh, okay uh, so and this is the evolution of your love life uh, when is this partner coming into your life and what do you need to do or what do you need to do to find them and we have the three of swords which is which is heartbreak together with challenging time and believe and succeed so five of wands six of wands three of swords uh six of cups as well so i definitely see that you have someone here four of wands that you will meet but it's in a distant future uh, because what you need to do first is um, uh, probably deal with a lot of difficult people and learn to, um, it's almost like they are there to make you a favor, to open up your wounds so that you can heal it. So you will, in the future of your love life, you will be faced with people that will hurt you uh, so that you can learn from these situations and do this it's almost like living through the same nightmare over and over and changing these small variables every time. So with this person, you learn that thing. So now you know it. So with next person, you know this thing. But then there, there's a new problem, a new thing. And you learn how to solve that. And then maybe with the next person, there's another thing. So I'm seeing, um, I don't see you meeting like many relationships in a row like this. You might... Um, you might learn things also from friends, family, co-workers, things like this. So it's not romantic relationships uh, 
alone. But what I'm seeing right now is that you are creating in your future situations where people will come and hurt you so that you will see where you are hurt so you can deal with it. Um, you know, here, confront this, your pain and uh, your sadness and isolation. So first you need to know where you're hurt so you can heal it. And when you have healed it, through various different relationships and being put in the face of danger and being able to cope with it and and thereby grow uh, that will make you more and more ready to actually meet a, a genuine loving romantic partner okay so uh, what is blocking uh, what is the block holding you back from meeting a new romantic partner and we have nurture so it's nothing wrong with you uh, you're a super genuine person with a lot of love to give to the world. You're already perfect in the way you are. And you have been able to give a lot of love in your different relationships. You're a very nurturing soul uh, with a lot of um, love to give and a lot of other values to bring into a relationship. So uh, that part is fine and it's not blocking you. So it's not, it's not something wrong with you so that you wouldn't be lovable. Um, on the contrary and here we have strengthening bonds and it kind of shows these different steps you need to go through uh, to get uh, your reward or your happily ever after so it's um, these uh, different scenarios here in this scenario you're learning something and then you're leaving that scenario you're going into the next next line of trees here learning something new and learning something new and learning something new so it's like doorways that you are going through uh, much what we saw here with um, the touch card. It's going to doorway after doorway after doorway. Notice 111 here also. Um, so it's about you um, going through challenges and, and succeeding. So it's this kind of reward card. It shows that you have already done a lot. You have learned so much. And it's maybe time to be grateful for what you have been through and how much you have learned. And maybe let go of a lot of bitterness from previous relationship. Yes, it should have been in another way. Yes, if they only would have acted like this, things would have been fine. But now that's not the reality. The reality is that you learned a lot. Uh, all these re different relationships has been like graduations for you, uh, where you have learned new things in, in um, every one relationship you have been in, not only romantic relationship, and, and this have render you uh, wiser and wiser for each time so you know now things that you didn't know before and here we have uh, just breathe uh, so i'll read this uh, card for you it's the four of swords so it kind of tells me that this is not a sprint uh, it's more like a marathon that you are going to go through and and you need to have your strength and stamina and right now uh, you are going through something uh, you have been going through something where you gave your all and you did great and you have like a great diploma <laughs> hanging on your the wall of your soul <laughs> just joking but funny pictures and um, and and now it's time to rest okay so much time and effort can be expended in maintaining current relationship or in creating new ones that is easy to forget to just stop and breathe once in a while this life is not just about connecting with other people. The most important connection you can have are with the divine and your own soul self. This is a good time to take a break from your personal relationships and reconnect with your spiritual self. Set aside a few minutes every day to sit quietly and just be. Uh, so it, it's about being in the now. Forget about your past and all the things that you are being through. Forget about the future and all the things that you will have to do, all the things on your to-do list. And just be now, like here and now. And just follow your breath in the now. So stay here, because here is the only thing that's real. But we're always living in the past or in the future. And we're not really connecting with our soul. So if you can do this... Um, for a few minutes every day and eventually as often as, as you remember. This is like a mindfulness exercise that you can do all the time to just remember your, remind yourself to be in the now when you're stressing around like a, squ a squirrel with their tail on fire. You can, ah, now. So in the now, do I have a problem now? Is every, anything burning? Anything that's acute? 
now so maybe take a deep breath and you know just remind yourself of how it feels uh, to be in your body if you have stressed a lot it will be awful it will feel like a prison with all, all the tension and that might be something that you want to do something about uh, but to reconnect with your soul is the most important thing that you can do right now in addition to caring for your spiritual self look after your physical body get plenty of sleep eat healthy foods and exercise Treat yourself to a movie or take a walk in nature. Step away from any cares around matters of the heart and just breathe. By taking time for yourself, you recharge your emotional batteries and have more energy to invest in your relationships. So it seems like right now um, it's not important uh, to get a new relationship. It's important to learn how to deal with the relationship with yourself, uh, to become a great partner to yourself and and to guide yourself better in your life so you're more here and now present here now than living in the past with bitterness and resentment and wise and less in the future with all these things that you have to do and the things that you have to achieve and the things you worry about will happen or not happen um, so being more and more in the now will free you from all this and make you more authentic as a soul and, and create this great relationship with yourself uh, because when you're in the now, the only thing that exists uh, really is, is you, your own heartbeat, your own breath and um, the feeling inside. Uh, so that is what the divine wants you to have a relationship with right now. And then we have the two of swords, refusing to see card. I want to see where this is going and, and the feeling all alone. So you haven't really understood that this um, situation where you are being... Um, not in a relationship and you're wondering where is my true soulmate where is my partner it's really a vacation from the battles that you have been through uh, what you need to do right now is to connect with this your own soul uh, we can see you're already so connected the third eye is open the crown chakra is there your soul star is there um, it's just that um you are expecting something from the outside to come and save you and to make you a home uh, when your home is right inside of you here. So you just need to go to the place where it hurts the most and start cleaning up that place because that's where, you, where your home are at, inside your body. And if you have treated yourself poorly throughout the years, it will feel awful inside of there. So you have a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of work to do with maintaining that inner peace and that uh, beautiful home inside of you. Uh, so it's not about what people on the outside can give you. It's to what uh, your inside can give you at this point. Um, so it's about you taking much, much, much better care of yourself. And you already have all this radio frequency channels on. Uh, so you can do the connection. It's just that you don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to because it feels probably doesn't feel particularly good but this is kind of destined so this is something you need to do right now it's going to it's your next step of your spiritual and physical also evolution and it will make you into a to a much more stable person more self-assured um, more stubborn more uh, all-knowing and wise and cool and relaxed uh, so this is not something that you want to miss out on uh, so it says you are not really blocked you're on a vacation <laughs> so if you thought that you were blocked you're not uh, you're just you have other things to deal with right now with yourself and you don't need to deal with uh, relationships with other right now it would just mess you up but you still want to see is there a match out there for you offering a genuine equal romantic love relationship and who is this and we have the fine balance so uh, as I said, right now, it's not the best time for you to be in a relationship because uh, you would be too preoccupied with dealing with the other person's energy and your own energy. And you will probably lose yourself in the process and you would carry both yourself and the other person uh, through life, which would make you exhausted and the other person uneducated, spoiled and unable to 
um, to provide for you and fill your needs in the relationship. It would basically be a very lopsided relationship. And also there's a lot of other things on your agenda right now. Do you really have time for a partner uh, at all? Uh, it seems like you have a lot of things to do that is taking your time and needs your time as well. <clears throat> so next card here is daydreams and decisions. So this is a very good time. Uh, you, you know, you're focusing on being in the now and being in your body and staying with your pain and your fear. There's a video on the first page of my channel dealing with pain with a green label. So I reminded me because of the green here uh, that you can use uh, to clean out your inner space and dealing with this um, that you don't feel adequate or good enough uh, or lovable or you're asking why people are abandoning you and you think it's your fault but nothing is so nothing of that is true so you need to do this exercise dealing with your own pain to clean out your house so when you have done that you have learned to connect with your now with yourself and there you have found a little bit of problems that needs to be taken care of you know a lot of sweeping to do uh, then you will have to do another exercise and that is actually dreaming about the person that you want um, before uh, earth was different uh, the vine had much more um, much more power in your life and could see okay so this person is going to want this I'm going to send this to them and it was a very cozy way of growing up as we were almost babies to the divine but a great shift has happened um, in my lifetime uh, where before things were sent to you that you needed it's still sent to you things that you need but not in the same uh, in the same extent now it's more crucial what you dream about the things you think about daily is the things that you are going to experience in your life so uh, it's very crucial that you start to dream about the things you do want as much or more than what you think about and possess or obsess about the things you don't want and the things you fear because uh, the things that preoccupied your mind and the things that preoccupies your ability to envision and dream and see future or past uh, will actually it's actually this how you are creating your future much like an architect uh, you are um, seeing the house that's going to be built first as a dream then maybe as a blueprint then as taking action then as actually building the house and then having a, a a, a done deal a house and um, how you start to dream about this house and the plans that you're making is crucial for what is going to be in your life nothing is going to drop in your lap unexpectedly uh, without you taking <laughs> taking real care of it it can happen miracles can happen uh, but you don't want to leave this up to chance it's very important for all of us to have loving relationships so you're going to have to put in the necessary effort to actually dream about the kind of person that you want to deal with. So start to envision what kind of partner you want. How should they look? How should they smell? What kind of personal qualities should they have? How should they make you feel? What do you do together? What kind of future do you have? So take moments where you meditate on this. You have made these mindfulness exercises where you have been in the now and you also feel what's it what's in there in the now and done some cleaning work but now it's time to meditate to actually envision the things that you want for your future so there's excellent videos on youtube for this you can type in drawing in my romantic partner or calling in my soulmate and there will be excellent uh, videos envisioning my future partner envisioning my future uh, you can search for these different things and find a video uh, that you like uh, and you can have this as a practice for going to bed for example so not only daydreaming about this person while uh, you know lying in bed but also maybe dreaming about this person which would be even more effective and then we have another seven and it's move so it's not about just dreaming about the house you need to make the blueprints uh, you need to call in the people that's going to build this or search for the right uh, the right kind of um, um, from the government maybe you need some kind of approval to build a house and then you need a workforce and you need a material 
so if you want a partner, it's about putting yourself out there, you know, if you, where are these people that you want to meet? What kind of person do you want to meet? Are you going to go to some class where there's a lot of uh, babes that could, you know, have the same interest as you? Or do you need to go out to a bar? Is there where you want to find your population? Or is it, you know, in the grocery store? Or do you need to make a, a profile on a, a, a dating site? And then if, if that's the case, what kind of dating site? What kind of crowd do you want to turn your attention towards? Uh, so it's about making moves, about taking action, knowing what you want and going after this. Uh, and we have take the lead. So it's a, the project. It's not only, you know, applying for uh, the right kind of um, papers you need. Uh, you also need to um, order the material and um, um, make uh, maybe uh, work interviews with people builders um, that will build the house for you. So take the lead is like you know, launching a project uh, and it's about communicating with people and creating a group or starting to, uh, you know, connect with people, uh, put yourself out there, put out your CV or your dating profile. Uh, so it's definitely that this partner doesn't seem to be being created just yet because you thought that the divine would create this person for you because you have asked them to. Uh, but they are not. They are lazy, apparently, and you have much more. Uh, you have much more responsibility for your own life than what you had before. So uh, they are waiting for you to launch this project and put, you know, one foot in front of the other to create this person. And then we have uh, listen, which is the uh, to the high priestess. I think I will read this card for you. It's much about sharing the things that you have learned uh, with the population. She's usually very quiet. She doesn't tell people what it is that she uh, she have seen. But I think you're asked to both talk and to listen. So take a moment to quiet your mental shatter and listen. In relationships, it's important to pay attention to what the other person is really saying. Too often in conversations, you're already planning what you're going to say while the other person is still talking. You make assumptions about where the conversation is going and plan your part of the conversation accordingly, even working the conversation to a desired outcome. When this happens, you don't truly hear what the other person said, and in doing so, you weren't present for that person. And I'm thinking this is about you not being entirely present for yourself. Again, there's a little bit of a hole for you, which is easy for you to fall down in, where you start to think, what does this person want from me? How should I act? How should I be? Uh, what kind of clothes should I wear? Uh, so you're starting to make up a picture of what, how you want people to see you. Instead of listening inside um, of yourself, is this what I want? Uh, do I feel happy here? Do I want to be with this person? And also, if you freak out, for example, if a person comes that's perfect, we can freak out and, oh, I don't want to go on another date. So we also need to stay with ourselves when we are freaking out and ask, okay, so what are you afraid of here? Are you afraid of um, stepping into another relationship, having a great time, great many years, and then the person will abandon you again? Is that what you fear? What is going on here? So because you can also self-sabotage, your situations. So this uh, too, it's about holding back, looking, listening, listening to yourself, listening to the other person, not only hear what you want to hear, but hear what's actually said and see what is actually done. It's a two here. It's connected to the judgment card uh, that we have here, 20. It's also connected to the justice card, uh, which what we have here. So justice, uh, judgment, high priestess, um, they're all very, it's a card about wisdom. It's a card about being uh, truthful and honest about what you see, what you hear, making logic, decisions and um, conclusion out of the information that you have. Uh, so and here you're kind of lost in la la land of your trauma and thinking, oh, uh, so I need to jump to a lot of hoops to make myself worthy of this relationship. But here it's more about actually being there, you know, with that person in that, for example, a dating scene uh, and actually listening to what the person says and listening inside of you 
how does this person makes me feel what is going on how am i reacting to this person do i like them don't i like them if i don't like them what is it that i don't like is it something that um i have made a judgment of because of previous experience or is it something that's actually true for now so it's a jungle out there and if we're not listening we can miss out on a lot of crucial information uh, so listening starts with becoming quiet centered and totally present listening involves many senses use your eyes to see the body language of the other person Use your ears to hear not only the words spoken, but also the tone used to express them. Use your intuition to get a sense of what the person is really saying and feeling. Intuition often helps you hear what is not said as well as what is said. This is crucial to understanding the person or the situation. Understanding is essential to improving the relationships or your situation. Remember once again to center yourself and use all of your senses to understand what is actually being communicated, both from the partner and from yourself. Listening is a gift. Give it to your partner, parents, children, friends, co-worker, pets, and anyone you meet. Most importantly, give it this gift to yourself. Tune into your mind, your body, your soul. Are you listening? What do you hear? I honor myself by being present and I truly listen to the message I hear. Uh, so it's about you getting a much better judgment uh, skill of judgment, being able to see what's really happening instead of what you wish is going to happen or what you fear is going to happen. So it's really about opening all your senses. They are already open. We have another two here. It's just that uh, you are kind of refusing to see. Uh, either you want to... If you like a person, you refuse to see their bad traits and you go with them anyway because you're so grateful that you have found someone you like. When really you should see, okay, this person is not a great person. I like them. It might be my wound saying that, oh, that's the kind of person that's going to hurt me. This will be fun. We'll play car accident again. Um, but instead you can see, okay, uh, I really like this person. I'm really feeling drawn to them, attracted by them. But it's probably my wound speaking because this person... Uh, is bullshit. They're not answering my texts. They're not answering my questions. They're not uh, asking for dates. They're calling, hanging up, doing this, doing that. So listen and see and watch and determine if this is the good situation where you want to bet uh, your time and your effort and your heart, love and compassion into. So one um, of my viewers said something great. Don't bet on the three-legged horse. <laughs> so don't do that. Okay, so base chakra, building a base for this relationship to call this soulmate in. This, I, I don't see anyone here because you haven't uh, dreamt of them. You don't know what you want. Uh, if it will fall into your lap, you could determine, ah, I don't want them or oh, kiss, 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 you want them. But that's as far as this go. You haven't really, um, you haven't really uh, excavated uh, this side what is it that you want what is what kind of person do you want you just expect the divine to know and to send this person to you maybe preferably by mail uh, or by you know some kind of um, delivery service but <laughs> here is about you dreaming this person together and going out uh, on a dating scene or you know flirting with people in the store or at the restaurant or whatever and then determine is this the person for me or not so this is the evolution of your love life. When is the true companion stepping into your life or what do you need to do to find them? And we have another listen and then we have observe, which is the hangman card. And it comes between uh, or after the balance card and the empress card. So this is three, one plus two, three. So three, two, three. Um, you have a beautiful, beautiful um, skills to give to people and uh, the relationship that you're in are your spiritual sadhana you learn a lot from them and you mature uh, by just dealing with these people but the crucial uh, card here is the number two uh, and it's about not throwing yourself into situations but actually you know standing on the doorstep and weighing your options observe listen is this really you know where i want to throw myself in or not uh, so this would, um, if you are able to do this and not just go with a wimp, uh, you would have shown yourself that 
You now value yourself, your time, your effort, your love, your compassion, your money. And you're not just, you know, stepping into any situation because you're so super grateful from the crumbs from the universe or from other people. And uh, now it's about, you know, having this judgment skill and showing that you have matured. And then we have the throat chakra and it comes underneath ace of uh, coins and uh, seven of cups. And... Um, uh, <clears throat> it's about you learning to uh, tell people when something is off, when you feel that something is off, something is, isn't really, you know, working. So before, maybe you wanted to sweep it underneath the carpet and just go on with the relationship. But now you're going to have to address the issues that comes up. And if the person that you're dealing with is not able to communicate, that kind of renders them... Um, like obsolete you don't need them if they can't communicate about problems if they can't you know see an issue and okay so maybe this is something i need to do about uh, do something about <laughs> it, it's no use in betting on this relationship it, because it will be crap i can tell you already and it's the same thing with you if a person talks to you and tell you about the issues you can address them sometimes with this daydreams and decision card you will see that the person is actually not arguing with you they are arguing with something else for example let's say that you are preoccupied with work a whole day there's clients calling your boss came in you had a big load of paper to deal with and your date is texting you and saying so i see that you hate me now you haven't responded to any of my texts the whole day uh, so that is not about you. That is about that person and their pain that they haven't been dealing with. You see how important it is to deal with your pain. In other case, you're going to smear it out on every person that you meet. And that is a disaster uh, because that other person doesn't want to have uh, a shitload of um, conflict to deal with when they are coming home from work and, and have, you know, spend their whole day working. And then there's this texts. Uh, from you or you find this pile of text from other this other person that tells you that you are an awful person because you didn't put, pay attention to them so they need their mommy or they need to become a mommy to themselves but they don't need you uh, to you know entertain them when you don't have the time to do so so it goes both ways here I hope you understand that and um uh, so it can be either you, you having this problem or they having this problem. But the important thing is that you talk about these things and um, tell the person that uh, I don't feel responsible for answering your text uh, on the days when I'm working. When I'm working, I'm working between these hours. Uh, if I have the time to text you, uh, I will most certainly do so uh, because uh, I like our conversation. But if I'm not answering, don't read things into this. You can ask, hey, where are, go where, where are you? I need an answer to this. Should we meet tonight or shouldn't we? And I will answer as soon as I have possibility. But um, if you are insecure, um, deal with it yourself and tell me that you feel insecure and I will help you. But I won't be able to help you when I'm working. <laughs> so these kind of conversations will come up here and it will be you know, more of this. And many of these people, which you need to have this conversation with, they will have problems that you can't fix. Okay, you can't fix them and they can fix them, but it will take time. So it means, you know, stepping on to the next situation. Don't bet on this three legged horse. Okay, uh, so choose your battles <laughs> well i might not have to say anything more about this it's another seven 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 comes underneath the throat chakra so uh, to know what kind of project you want to deal with maybe you have um, 10 blueprints of what kind of house you can build at your yard and you need to decide which house you want you need to go through this some houses you can just directly because they don't have you know the right kind of windows or the right um, you want maybe the kitchen to be in a certain way or there needs to be a certain height to the roof or something else. So this can go immediately. And others, um, you sort them out and you put more effort into those. But even then, when it turns out, no, this is not the house I want to build. You don't have to stay with, oh, poor house. Maybe it will become a better house some other time or maybe it will improve. No, you need a good blueprint already now. Uh, you don't need um, 
a crappy one that you will have to uh, you know write on for 10 years you want this uh, beautiful thing right now so you need to have better plans better ways on determine if this is the right person or not in an early stage so you don't start to build a house you don't want okay <laughs> and then we have the third eye and it comes here with the refusing to see and take the lead so uh, trust yourself a little bit more uh, you know you're right anyway so why listen to another person's bullshit and listening to and kind of agreeing diplomatically to what they say when you know that you know better okay <laughs> so you, you don't have to be uh, cruel about it you can just say is this really the way you try to charm me charm me or is this really the way you try to approach me i don't think this is going to work <laughs> okay so you know so don't don't act like you don't know okay and here's teach uh, so uh, the, it's come this card again so it, it shows me that you will meet a lot of people that won't know a squat about how you need to be treated or how other people in general need to be treated at all uh, so uh, if you want to be uh, kind of ready for love make yourself ready by making other people ready so this is kind of helping you to define uh, what it is that you want in a love relationship with actually doing you know yes that I like I like that kind of person but I don't like this I can't really overcome this so I want that side to the person but not that side and then next person I don't mean that we should be disloyal to our partners and just you know skip this jump ship as soon as there's a problem but if you are in this situation where you actually have the capacity to choose you know shoes really well shoes really wisely and teach a lot of people while you're on this journey uh, so this is your job it's obviously your spiritual calling we can see this on this magnificent cars here so why whine and say well i want a dream partner right now well you won't be able to get it before you are put in this work so better go on and put in this work uh, instead of um, asking for something that you will never have because this work needs to be done for you to be able to have them because you won't know what it is that you want before you have seen it with your own eyes and said yes and no to it and that is what I want you to do <laughs> or the divine wants you to do anyway you can do whatever you want it's up to you um, okay uh, so I think um, it's clear as day I hope to see a little bit more you know soulmates uh, falling in here but it seems like um, there, there will be a, a lot of people not to your liking that you will meet and you'll have to soar to them and by doing this you will uh, learn a lot a valuable valuable information that will lead you closer to the situation you want uh, and you will also uh, maybe more important in the divine point of view since you are already kind of perfect uh, is that you will teach other people how to also be equally perfect as you <laughs> so um, that is your that is the next step for you when it comes to your love life is to put in effort into it and, and sorting and building a great foundation not only for the relationship but also in yourself so clearing out your own mess before you put it together with someone else's and hopefully they have done that work too uh, so you don't have to bet on this three-legged horse okay uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, uh, thank you also for uh, <laughs> commenting liking subscribing and sharing my videos i'm most grateful for all the beautiful support i'm getting if you want to donate to my channel, there's a link in the description box. And if you want to make Google donate, you can watch my ads, uh, click them or watch them for 30 seconds or to the end of the ad, whichever comes first. That is giving me a little revenue uh, for each video that I'm doing. So it's really helpful and free up my time to make more content on this channel. So thank you so much in advance. Thank you so much for watching and keep your eye out for my ne next uh, post that will probably be a pick a card reading. So until next time, take really good care and bye bye.